Hello there everyone, I am the Sergeant Duggo, and today I am working on my custom voiced follower Demos for Skyrim Special Edition. Now, I ran into a bit of a problem earlier today, and I noticed there really aren't that many, like, good tutorials on this. So I decided to make one myself. This is a tutorial on how to make an NPC give an item to the player, specifically from dialogue. First of all, we need to make sure the certain NPC is pointed out somewhere, as it is here. <clears throat> the Gettys ID is DT01 Demos, which means only this custom follower can actually do this voice line. Now let's let's make a voice line for this demos tutorial item and create a branch item topic. Okay. Now let's just put some topic test text here. Give me the book about the five tenets. That works. Now let's just give a response. Here's the book you want. <clears throat> <clears throat> now then, when this certain dialogue and topic is created, we want to give this certain book to our player character. We will do that by using a papyrus fragment. So remember to put a semicolon on front, just so the code will not load. And remember this is case sensitive, so just follow along. I'm going to also put the code down below in the description. So game dot get player and the brackets open and close dot add item opening bracket and now this is important so here we will put the item we want like i said it is a book and it is added by this certain mod it is the five tenets by unknown to be specific and this is for the dark brotherhood questline now let's Paste this here, and then put a comma, space, and this is the quantity. So we want to use it as one, but if you put 10, 10 or anything else, then it's going to give you more than one. Then remember always to close the bracket. Now let's compile it. And if you didn't have this before here, now there is a script here. And we can go to the properties of this script. Oh, as you can see, the add property is grayed out. What we want to do is just press OK here, reopen it, and go to properties again. Now you can add a property. Okay, so the type is important. It is the item or whatever you want it to be. For in our case, it's going to be a book. And now the name has to be the same as the editor ID of the book, as you can see here, or the item you want. We are going to ignore initial value and everything else. Let it get here. Oh, and it automatically picked the object. But for you, it's gonna sh say either none or nothing selected. Press on it. If you are using a normal item from the vanilla game, you can just autofill all and it should find it. But if you're not, like in our case, we want that the must follow the five, five tenets book. So just start typing it down and you should see it here. Now press OK. And remember to remove the semicolon from here. Let's compile it. And just to be safe, let's go to the edit, click on Ctrl S, as in save, and as you can see, zero errors, zero warnings. Awesome. So now press on OK, 
press OK again and again, and remember to save it, otherwise it won't work. Now let's get to the game, and I will see you. And as you can see, we are in the game now, and here is the man himself. Another wonderful day in the world of Skyrim. Indeed. Okay, let's talk to him. Give me the book about the five tenets, as you can see here. Here's the book you want. And there is the book. Now, remember, it is a book added by a mod. This works also with normal vanilla Skyrim items, but it also works with modded items. And we can read this book like normal, and it say, tells all of the five tenets of the Brotherhood. If you play the Skyrim with Demos, you will What's see about? that happening. But yes, that is all the time I had for today. If you have any questions or suggestions about Creation Kit or anything in general, just leave me a comment down below and I will help you to the best of my knowledge. Anyways, for now, thank you for, guys for watching and we will see you later. Bye.